Hi, I'm Nathan from Pi3G and today I'm going to show you how to develop software for the Raspberry Pi Pico. We are going to go over how to set up the Pico Software Development Kit and how to write your custom C programs, compile them and flash them onto the Pico. So let's get started. First we need to clone the Pico SDK GitHub repository. Open a new terminal and create a directory called pico. Then change into the pico directory and execute the command git clone minus b master and the URL of the GitHub repository. You can find all the commands that you need in the description below. Next, we need to change into the pico SDK directory and execute the command git submodule update minus minus init to initialize the pico software development kit. Now we can clone the examples directory. This is not necessary, but very helpful if you are just getting started with the Pico. Change back into the Pico directory and clone the Pico examples repository. Now we need to install some important APT packages, like for example CMake or the GCC ARM compiler. Run sudo apt update and then sudo apt install, followed by the list of packages that we need. Don't forget to hit Y and enter to confirm the installation. The installation process will take a little while. On my Raspberry Pi 4 it took around 3 minutes to install all the packages. An important step is to export the path to the Pico SDK. We modify our bash rc file so that we don't have to export the path manually every time we open a console. Open the bash rc file in your favorite text editor and add the following line at the bottom. Export pico underscore sdk underscore path equals dash home dash pi dash pico dash pico minus sdk. Then save the bash rc file and restart your console. When writing code for the pico, Visual Studio Code is a very convenient choice. Execute sudo apt install code to install the IDE. This took around 1 minute on my Raspberry Pi. Next it is recommended to install some helpful extensions. Type code into your console to start up Visual Studio Code. Let's test if our toolchain is working. We will build all the examples from the Pico examples folder. Press file and then open folder and select the Pico examples directory. There should be a pop up in the bottom right corner which asks you if you want to configure the Pico examples project. Hit yes and then select the GCC ARM compiler. If you have missed the pop-up, then you can click on the bottom where it says No Kit Selected and select the GCC ARM compiler from the list at the top. Then we can hit Build next to the gear icon at the bottom to build all the examples from the Pico Examples directory. This will take between 10 and 15 minutes. Once all the examples are built, we can simply flash them onto the Pico. Connect your Pico via USB while holding down the boot cell button. Then it should mount as a flash drive. The compiled examples are stored in the build directory. You can copy any example that ends with .uf2 onto the Pico. The Pico will disconnect and start to execute the code. I'm choosing the blink example and I can see that the green onboard LED of the Pico starts blinking immediately. That concludes the setup of the toolchain. So now we can start to build our own program. Create a folder with the name of your project. I will just name it custom for simplicity. The folder needs to contain three files. The custom.c which is our source code, the cmakelists.txt which defines the build process and finally the pico sdk import.cmake file which tells the cmake build system where to find the pico sdk. Open our custom project folder in VS Code and then create a file called cmakelists.txt. Then open the cmakelists.txt file that you find in the pico examples directory. Copy the first lines up until where it says pico sdk init and paste them into our newly created file. Then replace pico examples with custom which is our project name and delete the line where it says set pico examples path. To complete our cmakelists file navigate to the blink directory in the pico examples and open the cmakelists file that you find there. Copy the first 9 lines into our cmakelists file and then change all occurrences of blink into custom. The quickest way to do this is to select blink 
and then press Ctrl plus Shift plus L. This will select all occurrences of Blink and you can just type custom to overwrite them. Make sure to save the CMake lists file that we created. Now create a file called custom.c in our custom directory and you can write any C code or C++ code that you want. I will just copy the contents of the blink.c file and modify them so that the onboard LED blinks in a different pattern. Save and close the custom.c file. The last step is to navigate to the external directory in the pico sdk and copy the pico sdk import.cmake file into our project directory. Restart Visual Studio Code and press build. After a little while our project is ready and we can flash the uf2 file onto our pico. And you can see everything is working as expected. You can see the LED blinking twice with a one second pause in between. Now you know everything that you need to build your own Pico projects. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel as we will post videos like this on a weekly basis. Also, check out our store by Zero to pick up everything you need for your Raspberry Pi projects.